just pick a copy and then go and read about entrepreneurship. Are we excited about that? So can we clap for NEIP for this product? So before we have our third speaker, the judges will have their compilation, and then the third speaker will come and give us a little speech, okay? DJ, is the sound ready? They said they want some dance, but not now, after, after the third speaker. So let's welcome... Mr. James Osei Opombringa. All right. So let's appreciate him. Thank you very much. By the way, my name is Joseph Osei Opringa. Yes, uh, I'm the Director of Communication at the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program. And actually, we are giving you the money today. Yes. <laughs> the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program is a flagship program of the government of Ghana to promote entrepreneurs businesses and to help them to grow and new ones to emerge. It was introduced by the president, Nana Arodanko Akofuado, in 2017. And since 2017, we've been working. I want to ask how many of you know about NEIP? Oh, I'm sad. You see, it's either we are more concentrating on things that do not develop us, or maybe we are not doing much of uh, the media work or the advocacy for you to know what we do. So the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program started in 2017. And these are our programs. Our programs are designed to help the youth of this country to go into entrepreneurship, set up their own businesses, and employ others. We have the presidential pitch. We have the presidential business support program. We have the student entrepreneurship initiative, which was launched at the hall, this auditorium, by the vice president of Ghana. We have the greenhouse project. I will tell you more about this project. Let me start with the student entrepreneurship and innovation program. I mean, students entrepreneurship program. That's the SEI. And this program is designed for young people in senior high school and institutions across the country. Now, we realize that we are bringing out a lot of graduates every year. Just like my sister said, my sister Misa said, we are bringing a lot of graduates out every year. And we heard the, uh, the, the finance minister saying that the government sector is choked we should go into entrepreneurship. Some misunderstood him, but that's the bitter truth. So with the Students' Entrepreneurship Initiative is to inculcate the idea of entrepreneurship whilst you are in senior high school, also in tertiary school, so that when you come out of school, it's not like the annual ritual where people are moving from one office to the other with application letter. You go, they bounce you. You start again. Some people have worked to extend that their shoes are all gone. So you see, and the program is designed in a way to help you think about business ideas whilst you are in school. So that when you finish school, I mean not you, when you finish school, you'll be able to set up your own business so that you can employ others. So when you set up your business, or when you have the business idea, we have the Presidential Business Support Program. This program is, in a way, is designed in a way where we put online applications. And as I speak with you now, next week, we are going to open another online application for you to apply for funding. And our funding ranges from 10,000 Ghana cities to 100,000 Ghana cities. But if you have a business idea that your budget is higher than our range, you come to us, we sit down. It depends on the kind of business and how marketable your business is. So with the Presidential Business Support Program, you apply with your business plan online. Now, any person who applies for this program is qualified for training. 
we realize that most entrepreneurs, at least about 60% of our entrepreneurs in this country, don't have, I mean, the problem they have in whatever business they are doing, it's not about money. Most of them is about bookkeeping, management, and how to do things to benefit them. But we don't have that training, so when we go into it, when you are giving 1,000 Ghana cities, one month, the money is gone, there's no revenue, there's nothing for you. So if you apply, it means even if you are one million in this country, who, um, one million people who apply, when you apply, you go for training. We'll take you through a month training. Then after the training, you are trained by business incubation hubs across the 16 regions of Ghana. I know most of you know about business incubation uh, hubs that are latest across the country. They will train you and recommend you for funding. Okay, we've done the training. We've realized that this person, uh, business idea can be funded and it's marketable. They bring their recommendation to us. Based on that, we'll give you the money depending on your budget. And financial business support program. We've done the first, the second, the third. And I'm surprised most of you don't know about it. So go to our website, www neip.gov.gh You see our program, uh, our program, sorry, I'm an Ashanti, so maybe my R and L, no. I'll have problems. So you see our programs there, you can apply. Now, as I speak with you, uh, there's one program going on, and we are doing it with World University uh, of Canada, known as WUSC, a program known as WUSC, and it's for only females those into non-traditional skill job area. And when I talk about non-traditional skill job area, it's like uh, females venturing in carpentry, mechanics, IT, and it's just for the females. That's another program currently is ongoing. When you go on our website, you see apply now. You click on it, if you're a female, you can apply. And another program is at, uh, it's, uh, our greenhouse. Our greenhouse is the largest greenhouse in West Africa. It's located at Dewenya. And what do we do there? We have an innovation training center. We train people in greenhouse farming. And to those who don't know about greenhouse farming, greenhouse farming is a controlled way of farming in a dome. So <clears throat> the greenhouse farming is one of our projects located at Dewenya. We cultivate cucumber tomato, pepper, and other vegetables. So we train you in greenhouse farming. Then after the training, we allocate a dome to you for you to work and pay back. And those who know more about greenhouse farming, you know it's very profitable. You are exempted from weather, pests, and other things because the control and it's done in a dome. So we have a greenhouse farming, also the greenhouse project, also at Dewenya. And we are thinking of extending to all the 16, 100 in all the 16 regions of Ghana. Now we have program, which is the presidential pitch. My sister spoke about the presidential pitch. And this is a program where you have your business idea. Before the president of Ghana, you come and tell us what your business is about. There will be a panel of judges, like, just like we, we, we have done here today. Then they will grade you. The winners can receive from 10,000 to 100,000 Ghana cities. And we've done the first, the second, and the third. Let me tell you something. The end presidential pitch, the winners were from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Two girls. And these girls were making banana fiber. They are making a, a sanitary pass out of banana fiber. And that's a very good innovation. So I don't they, they won a cash price of the president added his one month salary. And in all our programs, the president will add his salary to one month salary to the winner. He added one month of his salary to the winners. And as I speak to you, when they went back to Ken UST, Ken UST also gave them hundred thousand Ghana cities. The president's salary. So I can say they had over two hundred and something thousand Ghana cities just to start their business. I was there last week, and they are making it. Very soon, they will be going into large uh, productions, and it will be on the market. 
So government is doing a lot to help you. It depends on you. Most of the times when you hear government programs, people say, oh, it's politics. When I go there, they won't mind me, they won't give me. No, it's not. There are people with them. You are trained by a business incubation hub. Then they recommend you for funding. Then they bring their list to us. What we have to do is to just do some duty and give you the funding. So I'm here this morning, I mean this afternoon, to tell you what government is doing to help you. You are in school. Most of you are in school. Think about when you finish what you are going to do. Right now, your parents are giving you money. When you finish to come and stay in the house, you finish your national service, one month, two months. Even when the fridge is not closed, they'll say you are the one who didn't close it. Because you are becoming a nuisance. You are staying in the house. So think of something. If I had the opportunity of being at your level, I think I would create great ideas. But now I'm occupied. So this is the time for you to think through businesses. Not all of us can do business. You can do it and employ others. And that is the way. Entrepreneurship is the way. Because the government offices are choked. And that's a fact. There are people who are 60 years and above and they have been still engaged in contracts. So there's no way for you. You apply for a job somewhere, they told that you need five years experience. You just finished school. Where are you getting the five years experience? You see? So the system, as my brother said earlier, the system is created for you to fail. So how do you escape failure? It all depends on you. You can choose to escape failure or be part of those who fail. Everything depends on you. This is the time you need to make a critical decision about your life. Just my brother was saying, he was dancing. People were laughing at him. At least he can earn something small to buy a shoe or a shirt. He doesn't have to go, maybe even if he wasn't working, he doesn't have to go to the parents to ask for money. So this is the time. Let's think through what we want to do before we live here. Now, people are taking care of us. When you leave, you are done with your national service. Nobody's taking care of you. The life is on your own. What are you doing? That is why government has designed these programs to support you. Even if you don't get the funding, at least you get the training. You learn how to write a business plan. You know how to pitch your business. You, you learn how to, you know, up a business. Even if you cannot do a business, you can get employment somewhere. You have a side business, it will also help. So this afternoon I'm here just to tell you what government is doing and why you should take the future in your own hands. Nobody's going to do it for you. Some of us wasted our time, but now we have been here. Don't waste your time like me. Yes, you have the opportunity now. And government have problems for you. Don't go on social media concerning things that will not develop you. Check out for funding. At, you know, there are a lot of organizations out there giving out funding. When you ask somebody, oh, go into entrepreneurship, and when the finance minister said people should go into entrepreneurship, they say, oh, what money are we going into entrepreneurship with? When you want to start, you don't need money. What you need is the mind, the idea, think about if we start thinking about money now, it means when the money is given to you, you know what you do. Some of you married second wives, you have third girlfriends, and the money will be gone. So this afternoon, that's why I'm here, just to tell you what government is doing and how you can take advantage of government's opportunities. Now go to our website. We have a lot there. Also, the NBSS, I hope now Ghana Enterprise NCGA. They also have programs to support people who can do their own business and are ready. We have huge population. Support everybody at a go. So if you try and you don't go through, it doesn't mean that you are not qualified. Try the next one. Try the next one. Try the next one. Try. Even when you are in your grief, keep trying. One day, it will happen. Thank you very much. And I'm so happy being here today. God bless us all.
Hello, yeah. So, um, he forgot to announce the book again. So, Beginner's Guide to Entrepreneurship. So, when you are going out, you can get some on your way out. Okay, when you, are, when, you are, when you close and you are going, you can get some. It's free. You are not paying anything. You are not even paying one CD for it. All right. So, are judges ready? No, they are not ready. Okay, so let's be reminded that winner will get 15000 the investors, mentors, and all that. First runner-up will get 10,000 Ghana CDs. And then second runner-up will get 5,000 Ghana CDs. Are you ready to get to know the winner? Eh? Are you ready? Oh, the dance. You want to see the dance? Oh, you want to see the dance? Sir, DJ, which song do you have for me? I, I'll try. But then we are waiting for the So, please don't look at me with a different eye. It's not me. We are waiting for the judges to give the results. Sound guy. You have a song for me? Hey, special. Hey. Hey, no, no. Nice. Mix. No, no, no. It's mix. Wait, oh, play you choke. It's very simple. This one, they have to stress. Play you choke. Or oh, you don't have you choke. Now, everybody, I want some people to come and join me here. Oh, do you, oh, I want some people to come and join me here so we dance more. We are waiting for the judges, so it's not me. I, I just want to say something while All right. we are concluding. Sorry, I was um, collating results while um, Mr. Joseph was talking. But I just wanted to add to what he said around um, the presidential pitch. So I was part of the first group um, that pitched for the presidential pitch. I must say it was really exciting. You know, the, the whole president of Ghana, like he didn't let anybody else come. He came himself. It was very exciting to see him take such an interest in entrepreneurship. Um, there was a lot of pressure just preparing for the pitch. So you have to be very concise. And, and it's something that's really critical because most pitches you have three minutes, five minutes, you have to get to the point really fast and you have to understand what you're selling. So please, as you're working on entrepreneurship or you're thinking of entrepreneurship and you're thinking